Hi, welcome to Larry Talk Stack. I'm Larry, and this video will be about how to create a RAM drive. Now, a RAM drive, as the name implies, is basically a drive, like a hard drive, an SSD, or a thumb drive, working the same way. Only this drive works in your random access memory, which means it's really fast, and it also saves some read-write cycles to your SSD and your hard drive, which saves wear and tear on them. So. It's a good thing there, and it's the other thing that it does uh, is that's volatile memory. And the good news is, uh, when you turn your computer off, that drive disappears, so there's everything in it that's gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, the bad news is, if it happens to go off when you don't want it to, you've lost everything in that drive. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, that's the kind of a downside, but the rest of it, to me, uh, is just fine. I've, I've used RAM drives. Uh, four years and on my Linux and the Apple machines all have RAM drives on and some of the uses for me I use it just like a big temp file so if I'm downloading something from the internet uh, be a picture an article or whatever I'll take it to the RAM drive first uh, once the download is done I'll fire it up from the RAM drive and see if it's what I want and if it, it's going to work, and uh, if it does, then I'll save it someplace else. And if it doesn't, I'll delete it right there. The other thing I'll do is uh, put video clips on it, like when I'm making this movie, for example. I'll have that on there first before I save it to uh, my server. And I'll check it out, make sure I like it, and I'm happy with it. And if it all goes well, I'll transfer it over to my server and save it there. If it doesn't, I just dump it. Right? But again, there's no read-write cycles or anything uh, going on to the drives themselves, so this is a slick way to do it. The final use for it is I've got some programs where uh, I install the cache file in the RAM drive. So say like Photoshop. You can put the cache file in on your RAM drive so your access to the cache file is really fast. <laughs> okay, So it, help, it helps out there. So. That's uh, basically what a RAM drive is, and uh, now we'll talk about how to set this guy up. Okay, before we get started, uh, these instructions uh, have worked for uh, distros from the Debian tree, so Ubuntu uh, and all the different iterations of that. Uh, I've, I've used it on Mint. So... Uh, and Debian itself. So I know they all work on that, and this is the same setup that I've, I've gone through with that. For other distros, um, I can't guarantee that it worked because I frankly haven't done them on other distros. So keeping that in mind, uh, let's go forward. The first thing you need to do is open up your terminal, and then at your terminal, you want to type in this quick little string here, cd space forward slash, and what we're going to do is just get ourselves back to the uh, root directory so we can uh, uh, have a good place to start. So our next step, we are going to um, make a directory called ramdisk in a temp file. And that's what this string does. And you have to be a um, um, super user there to, to do that, or administrator. So that's what sudo does for you. It sets that up for you. So you'll enter in that string, hit enter, and if you haven't done this before, it'll ask you for your password, and you'll enter that, and then it'll go ahead and execute the command you, you wrote in there. Now, for our next step, let's just kind of control who can who can uh, use our uh, newfound RAM disk, and that's what this string does. So basically what we're saying here is if you, you are the user, you can certainly use it, uh, and you belong to a group, uh, as Linux sets you up sometimes, and you're in number, numbers of different groups. So you and any member of your group can uh, use it. And the zero says uh, everybody else is 
uh, out of luck. <laughs> okay, so, so that kind of narrows the the, the uh, usage for that, and uh, that's uh, this is a pretty good setup for security. I, I use it a lot. All right, and now for our next step, this one here actually, uh, this string actually sets up your RAM disk. So type that string in just as it sets there. Uh, hit enter, and you should have a RAM disk. So you can, should be able to see it. Uh, if you have your desktop set up where you're showing the icons for your various drives, uh, that should be, they, this one should be visible right there. Also, uh, uh, depending upon your file browser, you should be able to uh, find it uh, there. Uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's under drive, sometimes it's under, under uh, something called other locations, but it should materialize there. So uh, once you've found your new found disk drive, treat it like any other drive. You can drag and drop files to it, you can save to it, you can delete files to it. You can you can rename files in it. You know the, the same normal sort of stuff. Just remember though, once you turn the computer off, that stuff goes away. So, also the RAM disk goes away. Now, if you just stop right here, the bad news is once you uh, start your computer up, you've got to redo step four. However, there is a workaround for that. And let's just set the RAM disk up to auto load. So that's what we're going to do on step five. So here we're going to open up a text writer uh, called Nano. And uh, we're going to take a document called FS tab. And we're going to make some changes to that document. Actually, we're going to add some things to it. So let's do that. So type that in, hit enter, and this comes up. Now, before you uh, go down writing anything, you'll, your uh, cursor to do that is usually up in the left-hand corner. So you just bring your, just keep hitting your arrow key till you get down below the forward slash swap file. Uh, so right after that, rather the forward slash swap, swap file, you bring it down below that and uh, type in mint ram and the rest of that string there. Use the spaces as a, as a setup as well. Uh, and then uh, use your control key, hit the O, and then hit enter, and it'll ask you about how it's going to write so many lines. And uh, then you go ahead, hit enter again, and then it writes them. It officially adds them then to that file, and then you hit uh, uh, control X to get out. And now you're set up. You've got this thing to, to uh, load automatically. So if you did everything right, you can shut your computer down, turn it back on, and you now have your RAM disk. Uh, if you followed everything there, you've got one gigabyte of space uh, uh, given to that to that RAM disk. Easy peasy. So uh, it's pretty pretty simple to set up and uh, easy to use. So I hope you found that helpful. And as always, we'd like for you to support us, so please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell. And you do that, you'll know when our next uh, video comes out. All right, well, thanks again for stopping by Larry Talks Tech. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section, and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. Thanks again.